we are today in August 2011 the whole country is full with again with these racist things here it says uh, stop massive immigration as if the immigrants would come like black boots like like walking over their Swiss flag it's completely you know it, it looks like Nazis the boots they are you know no immigrants walk like this you know they walk carefully you know not like that the Swiss walk like that they're Nazis so this is Swiss neutrality eh? well they never were and here is the biggest Nazi party in Europe the SVP in French is UDC and uh, they're the biggest in the world probably I mean they finance Adolf Hitler what do you think and these ones here they don't do a thing only if you open your mouth like I do then they come with an anti-terrorist police they do like they did with me on the on May 30th this year I had three guns on my head masked police all over the place a bandage over my eyes like in a rendition of the CIA handcuffs foot cuffs well they only wanted to what they wanted to do is to give me this message like this this was the message they gave me as they give it to anybody else so you know and now I've got murder threats by the Swiss police by these Nazis look at what they're doing and then they call it Swiss neutrality they are not they finance every war in the world it's like a religion to them it's like a bloody religion Swissness the Schweizertum it's like a religion to them this is the first thing they believe you know and the uh, the Red Cross and all these things are just hearts and minds like the Americans do like in Iraq they you know they, they, they give some free dentist help you know and they say oh, oh they're nice you know the Americans are nice or the or the Swiss are so nice they're not so bad at all you know so I'm gonna stand somewhere else they, um, the Freemasons do the same thing actually hearts and minds so you know they help some people or you know they finance you know a, a school and so they can do their, their dirty business and you know like the Swiss they say oh we are the Red Cross now look at it it's not a Red Cross it's a White Cross it's a Templar's Cross it is yeah very bad very bad so please someone help us I'm a South African I'm a white South African but I've been a nigger here look look, look how they look how they're looking probably call the police like look 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 at them look at the Nazis they don't want it then they call the police well better get away here all right better get away because they come with their, their guns and their things you know please someone help us I've been a nigger here for 14 years though I'm white and South African but I don't I don't care I don't care for the Swiss I'm a nigger you know you know what I mean excuse me for the lingo because I don't think like this excuse me brothers I just want to show you you know before they had the white sheep and the black sheep yeah and the funny thing is they show it with a little sun oh we are so clean we are so clean Swiss quality it says Swiss quality against niggers or you know excuse me again for the lingo Swiss quality against the rest of the world you know bloody immigrants they are eh? please somebody help look at it it's full I even heard them say that they are the chosen ones the chosen people they are that's what I that's what the Swiss tell themselves no it, it, really they do I, I heard it they are God's beloved people they say they just take things from others and then they turn it around you know a bus stop can you imagine you know for an immigrant taking a bus here do you imagine this is like Nazi Germany it is you know and uh, the Red Cross actually is the biggest false flag operation in the world you know they're not nice at all they knew about the Holocaust they knew about Auschwitz they didn't do a f thing excuse me I almost said the word <laughs> Yeah. Can you imagine taking a bus here? So let's punish them for their hatred and for the evil things they did to the world, you know. These people have such a hunger for more. 
They're never satisfied. They have everything. They got the newest cars, probably the richest country in the world. And still they do things like this. The other countries are much, much poorer. And still they don't do things like this, you know, you see? It's all a Swiss neutrality swindle, it is. And then again, they're not even native to this country. The Helvetic, the Celtic people were. They're immigrants themselves. They are massive immigrants. It says Massen, massive immigration. Well, they're the most massive immigrants they are. The Alemannic people, the Germanic people. Because with, uh, through lies and murder and killing them, they, um, they chased away the Helvetic people. You know, so this, you know, this is not Hel Helvetistan, you know. This is Helvetistan, but it has nothing to do with Helvetic people. Look at it. And then they call themselves Eidgenossen, which means the keepers of the oath. You know, what kind of an oath do you think that is, you know? With the three thing fingers up. Well, that's a Freemasonry oath. A Templar's oath. They really keep, tell them, call themselves the keepers of the oath. I say it again, this is the New World Order. They call themselves the keepers of the oath. They really do. Eidgenossen. There are shops that, that are being called like this, companies all over. And they say, I'm not Swiss. Because they don't want they want to be taken for an Italian, you know, who's been here for 70 years or his whole life, you know, and has a Swiss passport. He got a Swiss passport after only after 60 years, you know, being here. Then they finally gave him one because he's gonna die soon. So, you know, they, they know they're gonna get rid of him soon. So, you know, and they don't want to be taken for a false Swiss, like an Italian or, or a Turk with a Swiss passport. So they say, I'm not Swiss. I'm Eidgenoss, I'm a keeper of the oath. Oh man, look at it. Oh, there's, uh, he must be an immigrant seeing the sign. Oh man, oh, oh he sees it, look at it. Oh. And if they're up to doing things like this, all in the open, then we all know that behind the screens, there's lots of other things happening and going on, like terrorizing people, murdering people through O2T torture in prisons. And, well, they always hide things like they do with their banks and all that. You know? These are the, these are the people of the hidden ways. You know, I mean, look at them. Look, look, look. Look at them. Look how they're looking. Look, look. Oh, you see that? That's why I'm hiding. Oh, man, look the hatred they are. This is the witch. He's still looking. This is Nazi Germany, you know. But the Germans are even not that bad as they are. You know? There's another one there. Look how he's looking. Hatred. Look how he's looking. Full of hatred. Cowards. And actually, they use the authorities, you know, as they are so coward, cowardice, you know, they use the authorities to terrorize other people, they do. You know? And, uh, and this is a country where all criminals come to, you know, they, you know, drug dealers, you know, uh, dictators, Adolf Hitler, all of them. And these people are so united. There's no other people that's so united in crime. They are united in crime. It's like a religion. To the Swiss crime, and Swissness is a religion to them. It is. And now they're the heroes because they're the only ones in Europe. I mean, in every decent country, these things are forbidden. And they signed, you know, human rights treaty. So how can they get off with this? You know, how is this possible? If the French would do this, you know, or the Germans, you know, all countries of the world, they, say, they would say, stop this. What are you doing? But they can do it. They, they, they just get off with it. How is this possible? How is it possible they could sign all the human rights treaties and, and go on with their hatred and now they're the heroes? There's a lot of Swiss Nazis who are having uh, conferences in France and in, and in Germany because they're the heroes, because they, they, they get away with these sort of things. That's why they're the heroes. And um, 
they, ha they, 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 they had a vote, you know, a referendum against the minarets. So, um, and uh, as, as the Muslims are the, uh, supposed to be the enemies, as the Jews were the enemies like in the 30s, or were supposed to be the enemies, of course they were not, they always find themselves like an enemy, you know. Yeah, yeah this is horrible. This is, this is Germany in the 30s. Please, somebody do something, please. Because they're going to do it all over again. You see, it's all over. They, they are so paranoid. You see? So who's taking a bus, you know? Usually immigrants. The Swiss is driving a Mercedes, you know? And of course, the, uh, this, you know, the Swiss bankster. And of course, you know, the, uh, they, they call themselves the keepers of the oath. You know, the Eidgenossen. They officially do. They, the, the country is being called Eidgenossenschaft, which, is, which, is, which means uh, the country of the, uh, or, or the, or the system of the keepers of the oath. Uh, as I already explained to you in the Pharaoh show, this country was uh, founded by the Templars. It was founded by the Templars. And from out of the Templars came uh, the, the, the banks and the Freemasons. And because the Freemasons came out of that, this country is being called the Keepers of the Oath. You understand? And another one, there must be millions of them. Millions. And because I open up my mouth, you know, I, I'm, I've been suffering under, under this racism for 14 years, me and my family. They don't, give them, they, they don't give us a possibility to live. They put me in prison all the time, they just lie something together. And in 2001 they told me, because I opened up my mouth, uh, they told me I, I, it's forbidden for an immigrant to say something against Switzerland. You can't complain or nothing. And uh, oh man. so they said it's forbidden to say just anything against Switzerland. And um, they said I should write against the Jews. And if I, if I wouldn't, they would take my son away. Even the authorities told me this, and the police. So, in 2001, they kidnapped my boy, who was two at that time. I never saw him again. I don't know if he's alive, nothing. Because, um, yeah, well, I, 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 I didn't want to, uh, give in to this blackmail. I had to, you know. And in 2007 with the black sheep, you know, they portrayed three pure white sheep kicking a black African sheep, which made it on the, on the first page of the New York Times in 2007 or 2008. But nobody's doing a thing. They just go on, look, look. Look at it, they're just going on with it. Please somebody help, please help, because they're doing very bad things behind the screens. They're killing people, they're murdering, they're torturing. They're taking away their children, they're putting people in psychiatrical hospitals for nothing. Please someone help. Stop Hitler, stop Switzerland. Please. And again, it's all over. And again. You know. And there it is again. The whole country is full of this Nazi stuff.